Have you seen this equation before? Well, anyone with a brain would say that this is the Pythagorean identity, but have you ever wondered why it works? Well, let's recap on the Pythagorean identity. Now, the Pythagorean identity says that cosine squared of theta plus sine squared of theta should equal 1. Well, let's bring out something really handy. A unit circle. Now, what even is a unit circle? Well, it's essentially a circle with a radius of 1. So anywhere you draw a point from the center to the circumference, it is just equal to 1. So I'm going to draw another line on this unit circle. And this time it's not going to be a radius. It's going to be a line from this point to this point. Now let's add a few more measurements to this unit circle. Now I've labeled this angle between the radius and the x-axis theta. And I've labeled the measurement of this side cosine of theta and this side sine of theta. But why is that? In order to answer that question, we first have to think about our sine and cosine definitions. Remember Sokotoa. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse and cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So let's look at this angle right here, theta. Now what would the cosine of this angle be? Will it be adjacent over hypotenuse? Well, the adjacent is this side and the hypotenuse is one. So that means we have this side over one and anything over one is just itself. So this would be cosine of theta. Same for this one, sine of theta. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So if we take the sine of this angle, it would just be this length over this length, which means it would just be the sine of theta for this length. So now let's think about another one of Pythagoras' formula. The Pythagorean theorem, which says that for any right triangle, the length of one of the sides squared plus the length of the other side squared should equal to the length of the hypotenuse squared. So let's apply this to our unit circle triangle. So one of the side lengths is cosine of theta. So let's write that down. So that means the cosine of theta squared plus the sine of theta squared because it's the other leg should equal to the hypotenuse squared, which is just one. Now we have cosine squared of theta plus sine squared of theta should equal to one squared. And what is one squared? Well, it's just one. And what we have here are Pythagorean identity. God bless.